All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and record, so you should all be writing this down. And like I say, this is your essay that I'm giving you, uh, and I should even call it an FRQ, FRQ that I'm giving you, and that's a free response question is what FRQ means. Is it writing on the board? And your free response question, I already told you what it was. I'm telling you the answer right now, so you should write it down instead of talking, ladies, Sana, and, all, and friends. All right, so now that, I, now that I know how to say it right, I hope. Here's NH2. And so that is connected to central carbon that's connected to an H group that's connected to an R group. R is not ribose. R is a side chain. R stands for a variable. It, I hear people talking. Can you put, can you put variable? Yeah, it's can it's a. Uh, I might. I don't. I don't. I'd rather see side chain. That's it. And since I'm giving you the answer right now, let's just say no. Write it just like I'm writing it now. Repeat it several times and know what it means. I think that's fair since I'm giving. It's two days before the exam. And so there's one amino acid. Now this is side chain, which means there's there's. Remember that I said I told you. And maybe you should know it for Thursday. There's 20 possible side chains. There's 20 possible different amino acids. So R is a variable that could be any one of 20 possible amino acids or side, amino acid side chains. There is no ribose in this. This is it. Ribose, and I, and I guess I'll make sure to review that tomorrow. Ribose is a sugar. Watch the sugar uh, discussion that I posted yesterday, that we had yesterday, and I posted it, if you want to review that. But as I go over it, I'll make sure to, to make a complete review of the different uh, monomers. This is a, mon a monomer known as, a, as an amino acid, AA. We're going to go ahead and draw two of them. And there's going to be, again, the same exact structure, one next to the other, except that this is going to be a second R group. This side chain could be different. It could be the same side chain, or it could be different. Whichever one is the second amino acid. So this is amino acid one, and this is amino acid two. It's very important you understand this. That's why I made it so uh, such a big part of your test. So it's important that you understand this. Now, when you see these two get, when they're going to be linked together, these they this carbon needs to get rid of a bond so that it can make a bond with this nitrogen. To do that, they get rid of hydrogen and oxygen in the form of water. So H2O comes out. We call this dehydration synthesis. And it should be in your notes. Now dehydration synthesis is when water comes out so that's where dehydration comes in. We're making something new. That's what synthesis comes in. Now, this group here is known as an amine group. That's one of the groups you had to know. And this group over here is known as a carboxyl group or carboxylic acid. Either one would be right. So as you can tell, there's another carboxylic acid here and there's another amine here. I'm not going to label all of them because it would just make a mess. And so, our, and I'm not going to label the second side chain either. This is a side chain, so is this. So it's two identical amino acids. So now I'm going to go ahead and put them together. The whole point of getting rid of OH and H was to be able to put them together. So let me go ahead and put them together. NH2 doesn't change. So these two are going to be put together. I'm going to put together these two. So I know i got to get rid of this. And I know there's going to be a bond between this carbon and this nitrogen. So I'm just going to draw everything else the same. That's a carbon. That's a hydrogen. That's an R group, an R1. This is a C double bond O because that didn't change. You see, there it is. But instead of being connected to an OH, it's connected to an N. H. Why just NH? Because the other H went off to form water. So now that's connected to central carbon, another hydrogen. There's a second R group. And there's a C double bond OOH. 
So one side, again, is a carboxylic acid, and the other side is an amine group. So that, none of that changed. I don't have to relabel that. But there is something new here, and that is this bond. This bond is new. It wasn't, up, it wasn't in part one, right? It is new. It's called a peptide bond. Peptide bond. And then you have yet one more new thing, and that's this thing here. It used to be part of a carboxyl group, you see, but you got rid of the OH, so it's not a carboxyl group anymore. We call it, we call it a carbonyl. That's one of those functional groups they had to know. And if you can do that, what I just did is all you're going to need to do on the test. If you can do that, what I would do if I were you, I just... I just wrote out the process, I explained every part, what I would practice it over and over again until I could do it without looking it up, because you're not going to have anything to look up. I'll post this and put it on Schoology for you as well. So you have to understand one more thing here, which is another important part, is that you can keep adding. Right now, this is known as a dipeptide. because there's two, two monomers connected together, so that's where the dye comes in. But if you added a bunch of them, because you can keep adding, right? It doesn't, it, I hope you understand that you can keep adding, make this extremely long, that's not a problem. The longer it is, the more than three or four, you've got a, you have a polypeptide. So when you have a long chain of it, a long chain of amino acids, one amino acid connected to the next, connected to the next, connected to the next, once you get a bunch of these connected together by peptide bonds with different R groups sticking off to the side, we call, and it's important that you understand that for the test because you're gonna get questions about polypeptides. It's, this is not part of your essay answer, by the way. This is just, so your essay answer was done here. This is it. This is all you have to write to get 100% on that large checks section of your test. But this thing here is known as a polypeptide. That's just a bunch of these amino acids all connected one to the next. Is that fair? So I'm going to upload this. That's your answer. I don't know how much time do we have left. It's 43. When's class over? 48. So you have a, I would try to do this one time on your own and come and check with me if you have any questions. And I'm uploading this as soon as you're out of here. As soon as you're out of here. And then post it on Schoology. Gin in them. Oops what the functional groups are because somebody so somebody asked what are the functional groups we have to know they're in a video they should be in your notes but one is a hydroxide one is an amine and h2 one is a carboxyl which is c double bond o oh so this is hydroxyl this is amine, this is carboxyl. Please make sure you're writing these down if you don't have them. C double bond O connected to something is called the carbonyl. Does anybody have anything else? SH is sulfhydryl. What else? What other groups did I did I discuss with you? You have phosphate, which is a which is an oxygen connected to phosphorus. Double, so you have that's called phosphate. That's one of those important ones. I told you you better make sure you know. Anything else? Any other groups? You don't have any other groups in your notes. Should be at least one more. Nothing. There is a methyl group, yeah, CH3. Another way to draw it is H, H, and H connected to something. That's called methyl. Anything else? You have to know at least these guys. Make sure you know them. Go back and look at them. So if you know them, you're going to be a lot better off. And just so the person who said that, that the R chain was ribose, just to remind you, Ribose is 
a sugar, it looks like this. We talked about it in DNA. It's one prime, two prime, three prime, four prime, and five prime. It's connected to a phosphate here, and it's connected to a nitrogenous base over here. That was what we did in DNA. The nitrogenous base could be a single ring structure. Nitrogenous base could be single ring, or it could be a double ring structure. So the phosphate can be either a single ring or a double ring structure, but these three together form a something called a nucleotide. The obviously the nitrogen, I hope it's obvious that the nitrogen spaces have sorry, the nitrogen spaces have nitrogen in them. There's phosphorus in here. That's an atom, that's an element. The rest is carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. This whole thing is called, the whole thing is called a nucleotide. You have to know what the three parts of a nucleotide are. That's found in DNA and RNA. DNA has deoxyribose. And RNA has ribose. The only difference is that deoxyribose is missing an oxygen. All right, I hope that reminds you what ribose is, and I hope you, you, uh, you guys study for this test.